There you go. Okay. Um. Ah. Um, Veronica? Unless your family happens to be a group of large rocks, I may have some bad news. Yippee! There'll be no way. And we're back. Right, we're here in the Hidden Valley Bunker. We have come all this way to find Veronica's family. She's worried about them and thinks they might need help. And she convinced me to come here and help her do whatever it is she's got to do. Now, unfortunately, my hat turned green. Why is my hat green? Why is my hat green? Please tell me that's the light and my hat has not... No, it's brown, isn't it? It is, it's brown, okay? It's the blue light up there or something. It's all these blue lights. I just look like a leprechaun. Um, yeah, where was I? Okay, I'm going first person. That is distracting. Um, so yes, unfortunately, the first bunker we tried, when I opened the door, there was a bit of a, um, well, collapsed area. However, Veronica does not seem bothered. And apparently there are many such bunker entrances, and only one of them is the actual entrance to her family's abode. So we need to find that one, which I guess is a bit of a relief. So, onwards! And, oh yeah, we still have not cleared out all the rad scorpions, I think. We killed a few of them, but my guess is... We should be prepared. Is that a thunder? That's thunder. And those are stars. Okay, it's getting late, ladies and gentlemen. It is getting late. And apparently, a storm is coming. Do you get storms in the Mojave Desert? Okay, now. I came in here. We came along the fence, I think, from that direction. Which means we need to be searching over here. I do like this hunting rifle. The hunting rifle with this scope is just ten shades of awesome. Alright. I'm seeing these, what I'm guessing are ventilation shafts, which are not very well hidden, by the way. I'm guessing they feed air to the underground complex. But it seems like it would be remarkably easy to just, you know, take a whittle in there and, uh, <laughs> or throw something much worse. Okay, what the hell is that sound? Alright. Okay, we have found another bunker entrance. Maybe I'm worried about nothing. Maybe there are no more scorpions. I thought there were scorpions. I thought correctly. Yes, indeed. However... And another bunker! Alright. So we have found two bunkers. We'll keep going to this one. Okay, another exit from the area. Peace! Fight apathy or don't. <laughs> Very poignant message. Right, door to hidden bunker. Still very dark, isn't it? Okay. Not really a good sign. 
more rubble. One of the things that I keep forgetting is if I hold the key down on the torch, I get a really intense beam, which is a lot better for... Okay, that really is not a good sign, is it? Okay. Suitcase. Weathered business wear, which gives me speech plus five. I've already got one. I have a suit. I have used it on occasion. Alcohol, wine, and supply crates. Another one of these doors. I wonder if we're going to have slightly more success. Locked and an intercom. Hello. You hear nothing. Is anyone there? Nope, apparently not. Right, we're going to unlock it and probably find a great big collapsed heap of rocks. Oh no. Oh, yes. Okay. A collapsed heap of rocks with a hole in them. Tunnel to Redoubt 0291A. Is that where your family are? Give me a clue. Blink once for yes, twice for no. Was that once or... Well, that's three times. Okay. Five millimeter round, 100 of. Those are the rounds miniguns use. That's a good sign. All right. Let's, um, try in there, I guess. I would have thought the entrance to your house was a little more, um, I don't know, human-friendly? That doesn't sound good. You have gained the Bug Stomper perk. What exactly is the Bug Stomper perk? Perks. Bug Stomper! Pulling the legs off ants suits you well. Okay, you gain a damage bonus against insects. That's actually kind of useful. I think. Over here. Oh, I love this gun. This is the perfect close to mid range weapon. Some people have said to me I should use the All American more. And the All American is. Is nice. The problem is when you aim, you have a scope, which is terrible at low to mid range. So you'd have to sort of fire it from the hip, which not really a great idea. Plus, here's the other thing: items, weapons, thirty-one damage. I mean, it's not bad, and if I use armor-piercing bullets, it'll do a reasonable amount of damage on these uh, bugs. Probably kill him in two shots. Maybe three. This thing is just automatic armor piercing because of its intense damage rating. I mean, it's just... This is a one-shot, one-kill rifle. Even against heavily armored creatures. Um, where exactly will we be finding your family? Or are we in the wrong place again? See, the thing is, I keep hearing what sounds like a toilet flushing. Fairly sure rad scorpions don't flush after they go. There it is again. And... It sounds like there's a lot of them. Okay. Tool cabin. Laser... That doesn't look pleasant, does it? Okay. I'm hearing... Go. Oh. Because there was one right... And there! What? Oh, Veronica, Veronica! And I'm away. Oh, did I shoot you? No, no, I didn't. 
otherwise he wouldn't have died. Alright, what's in there? Looks like a wreck root. That's the Brotherhood of Steel logo, isn't it? Locked. Okay, so we're in the right neighbourhood. Plasma grenade and a T-45D power helmet. Yes! We're taking that. Veronica, I've got you a present. Um... You're making me carry the heavy stuff, Oh, aren't shush, you? I'm giving you a helmet. See? You won't get one-shotted if you get shot to the head now. Um... I'm hearing... I'm hearing radio. This radio was working. Alright. Um... What? I'm torn on the idea of the helmet, actually. You know, I'm sort of used to Veronica... The way she was. Cherry bomb. Now I can't see her face. Egg timer. I'll take it. Scrap metal. Take that too. I'm hearing... Is this... This radio's active? Alright. So it's a rec room... And medical facility as well. Seems a little strange, but yeah. What's that? Rebound. Locked. Easy desk. Very easy for me. Okay. Oh. Mm. I'm clicking. Over clicking. Um, pack of cigarettes. Don't need. Oh, I almost missed that. Average. I can open average locks without any trouble now. Not that there was anything particularly interesting in there, but still, still. At least I know there's nothing incredibly interesting in there. Never underestimate the peace of mind you get from knowing there's nothing but junk behind you. There you go. Words of wisdom for the day. Rad scorpion poison's kind of useful. Yeah. Just bullets? Okay. More bullets. Recharge a pistol. This is one of those pistols that you just keep firing over and over and over and over again, I think. Let's have a look. Recharge a pistol. Doesn't do very much damage, but then I'm... Whoa, that sounded a bit... Okay, I'm a little overladen. I, I want to shoot this thing. I want to see what it's like. I think we've cleared it. No, we've got a door there. Door there! I don't think we can open it, though. That's kind of cool. Look, and it recharges! That is actually very useful. I'm completely encumbered. Um... You're Veronica. making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Oh, I hate your voice. No, no. I don't hate your voice normally. I just hate your voice with that helmet. I'm taking the helmet off you. Sorry. Um, and I'm going to give all this stuff to Eddie. That's really unfortunate. All right, we need a we need a power helmet with face. Oh, but no, dear, oh, dear. Um, no, okay, let me just dump some stuff on Eddie. Right. You know what I need? I need a mod that makes it so you put your helmet on when we're in hostile territory. Or maybe when we're outside or something. That's going to be a difficult one. Maybe just when we're in combat. When we go into combat, you put your helmet on. But to be honest with you, I could kind of do with you having your helmet on. Maybe a mod that makes it so that when... Um, when you pull out your weapon, you put your helmet on. But then I'd need a mod that makes you pull out your weapon when I have my weapon out. Because I'd like you to wear a helmet right about now. But when you talk to me, I don't want you to be like... Because that's going to be annoying. So then I could just go and chat to you. Okay, let's focus a bit. 
Right, we got a door here, but I think that's not going to open. However, what we do have is a tunneled through block and some lockers. Okay. Oh, okay. Pistol powder. Okay, I'll take all that. Oh, oh. I keep seeing school boards and having a uh, homesick feeling. Door. That's the door we just tested. Locker and another door. And a ventilation shaft. Is that sending air further down? Is there an area further down? Hello? Okay, there's an area further down. Open door requires key. I do not have the key. Alright, so we have to keep... It requires a key to open. Right. All right. We need to keep our eyes open for a key to this door. But I think we've actually done everything now. I don't think there are any other entrances. There you go. Ryman Bunker right behind me. So we need a key for the Ryman Bunker. Whatever that is. Oh, I hate that. Hand on the wrong side thing. All right. So that's the second bunker where we didn't find your family. I'm sort of relieved, really, that we didn't find them in here, because that was probably not going to be very pleasant if we did. Okay. Okay. Onwards. Okay. Okay, we've got a sandstorm that seemed to stand still for a few seconds. Alright, we need to find another bunker. I believe there was one over in the west, somewhere over there. Alright. Oh god. The scope is next to useless, isn't it? Alright, we've got a hostile over there. Eddie is telling me we have got a hostile. God knows where, I can't... No, I can, I can see it. Just, I can just see something. I think. Moving around. Either that or it's a plant. One or the other. Okay. Is that it? I don't think that's it. That, that's a rock. Was that? That's a lantern, isn't it? That's a lantern, I think. That's the other bunker. Yep. Checking I haven't lost those two. Alright. Steve was here. <laughs> uh, okay. Very dark. A light. Well, that's a vaguely hopeful sign, I <coughs> guess. My Almost thirsty and almost hungry. Well, not quite as hungry, but let's have a look. Um, oh, I don't have a huge amount of water. Iguana bits. Iguana on a stick. Okay. I should be a little less... Uh, Don't move okay. So is this the door to your place? I'm not supposed to give me a hint. Like, you know, just nod a little bit. I mean, normally you can't shut you up. You're like commenting on absolutely. On. I've got this. All right. Okay. Good. Good. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger, and easy on the agave sauce this time. Not. We gave you a password. What I had in mind. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake, opening up. Okay. Welcome back, Veronica. Veronica. Um. They're your family and everything, but is it a good idea to annoy them? 
you know, I'm not sure what they're going to make of me. What are you looking at? It's a wall. What? What were you looking at? Okay, you just get stranger and stranger. Why is it so dark in here, Veronica? Okay. Well, shouldn't you go first? Come on. Oh, fine. Door to Hidden Valley Bunker L1. I'm guessing the L stands for level. Why have I got to go first? Oh, God. Why? It, seriously, you're the guardians of technology and you can't even install lights in your hallway? Good grief. Whoa! And what's with the stairs? You can break your legs on these th things. Oh, that would be all I need. Um, Veronica? Why have I... It's your brother, or whatever, family. Hello? Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But I'm, since you I'm came waltzing. in with Veronica, Who's waltzing? I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. I don't waltz. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Go to your office and ask for Ramos. Let's go on the right to see McNamara. Do I waltz? Okay. Is this your office? I'm guessing, by the way, you're stood outside it. Assist you. Whoa! Did someone else hear energy weapon? I'm hearing... Okay, well, he does, doesn't seem bothered by it. Alright, so, um... Okay, that's bothering me. Oh, the stairs, really? These are not stairs, they're ladders that have been tipped over. Alright, okay, what is that? I'm not going to get shot, am I? Am I going to get shot? I have this horrible... Okay, turrets, we have turrets. And we have sounds of shooting? Okay. Is this normal? Um. Oh! Okay, it's a firing range. Okay, that seems reasonable, yes. Carry on. Hello? Brother of Steel Paladin. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open oh, lane. okay. Um, I'm allowed to use the range? Sure. The Elder's already given the okay. Unfortunately, you'll have to use your own weapons and ammo. The Elder's already given the okay? I've only just arrived. I've not even spoke to him yet. Bye. So how does that work? The, the, the Elder, you know, you get on the intercom and they say, All right, Veronica's home and she's brought an outsider with them. Tell him to go to the Elder McNamara straight away, but if he wants to go off and shoot some rounds on the range, that's okay. We, we don't mind. Okay, now where the hell were we going? Second floor. Second level right or something. I don't suppose anyone cares to tell me where the hell the second level is. Okay. Do not steal from the brother. Okay. Hello. Medical facility. Medical facility. Hello, hello. How may I assist you? Um. Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. Ever I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, this is the place to come. Why is everyone talking about me? I arrived 30 seconds ago. I need medical supplies, possibly. So you're a doctor. To be honest with you, that's a fair question. Because you're wearing a big, kind of space age red dress. And you have a large energy weapon on your back. I mean... Unless this is just a very big laser scalpel? Yes, I handle all medical needs in the bunker. 
If you're ever wounded, I can treat you for a fee. Normally, I'd just be Define the base's medical treatment. officer. treatment. But my other duties say otherwise. I mean, you sort of come in with a cut to the finger and she tries to cauterize it with that thing. What services can you perform? We have equipment here to treat most physical injuries. Lacerations, broken bones, that sort of thing. We also carry a full supply of antitoxins. You may have noticed the bark scorpions up above. I Though have. tiny, their venom packs quite a punch. Treating scorpions things is my most common procedure. I can also treat any form of radiation sickness you pick up out in the waste. No matter what stage. Save the last. The, the last stage of radiation poisoning is death, isn't it? Oh, right, yes, you can't cure that. Very good. I'll, I will put that down in my little book of very useful information. Don't come to you if I'm dead. Thank you for that. That's very, very helpful indeed. You mentioned other duties you had. I'm this bunker's Base head comedian? scribe in everything but name. I supervise the research teams. I collate the reports. I attend the meetings. But for reasons beyond me, that buffoon Taggart still gets the title. Buffoon and don't get me started on that Taggart. little pet of his. Everyone around here knows what's going on there but her. Okay. You really don't like Taggart, do you? I don't appreciate how much harder I have to work to cover for his tendency to focus on his personal projects. Oh. Okay. I try not to think too much about his personal proclivities. Um... His personal proclivities regarding his pet. Okay, fine. Um, I'll, I need medical supplies. I suppose I have a few things around that I can spare. All right. Let's have a look. Nothing really... Oh, I'll take those, though, for free. Nothing really um, jumping out. Can I sell you anything? Oh, I dumped all my stuff on, on the guy's ear. Oh, I'll have to come back and sell you some stuff later when I take it off. Another satisfied customer. Eddie. I gave it to Eddie. Okay. Hi. Right, well, you're not Elder McNamara. 400k. What? That wasn't what I bought of her. Or, shall we say, acquired from her. Okay, that is a funky looking weapon. Hello? Hey. Hey. If it's not broken power armor, it's broken electrical fixes. Okay. Oh, maybe I can get a job with these guys fixing stuff. Hello? Harden will be elder soon. Mark my words. Who is Harden? How about here? Door to Hidden Valley Bunker Level 2. And it was take a right. Take a, take a right. Okay. I think we're in the right place. Elder McNamara, I assume. Who won't talk to me? Why won't your elder talk to me? Do you have to talk to him first? Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? Apparently so. We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Ooh! Let's go. What? We're wasting our time. What? Complete it. Go with Veronica and talk to the... That was it. That was it. That's what we came all this way for. You just come in, slap him around a little bit, and we walk. <sighs> I'm supposed to talk to him. When Paladin Ramos informed okay. me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. It's what more the other way around, outsider? mate. Are you willing to help us? I guess I'll help you, I suppose. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. Good. In exceptional cases, 
Teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. Okay. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Fine. I'll be... Uh, I think I've already found one of your patrols. Both paladins were dead? Oh, God! That was the Repcon H quarters! That was the two... Veronica's wearing their armor. I should have told Veronica, shouldn't I? I should probably have told her about this. Uh, yeah. Um, about them. <laughs> I'm afraid, uh, they're not doing too well. While that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. Okay. Surely you have people better suited to look for them than me. The less who are aware of this situation, the better. My brothers and sisters were deeply traumatized by the losses we incurred several years ago. It would be imprudent to worry them unduly without first discovering the facts of the situation. Um... Sure, why not? If, if I come across them... I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You nice. won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, mm. but hopefully some of what's available so will nice. prove useful to you. All right. He doesn't look or sound that old, you know. So, we've got to find two more. If we find him, we can come back and give him the information. It will never hurt to have a few allies, especially seeing as apparently they've got some equipment. But that was it, then. Fine. It was a bit of a bust, wasn't it? I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Um, what? Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. Okay. Uh, good intentions don't justify marching the brotherhood to its death. <laughs> Have you considered that he might be right? No. Nope. What now? I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. I think I see where this is going. Um, what could we bring him that would change his mind? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Father who? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. Hmm. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. All right. Do you think the elder will listen? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. He doesn't look that old, I've got to tell if you. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. So, what are you trying to accomplish? That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend true. ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. Also true. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're going to survive, we have to find a role in society. Attract new members. Okay, how would you propose to do that? Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. Um, they use their expertise I've to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude, spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. Okay, so we're gonna go off... I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. All right. So let's have a look at this. What has she roped me into? Um, she wants me to go over to near the Gibbs... Am I on the right quest? 
I could make you care. Yes. Near to the Gibson Scrapyard and Helios 1. Okay. Take the van there, I suppose. What was the other quest? We're trying to find... Still in the dark. Find the missing Brotherhood Patrol at Black Mountain and retrieve the mission holotape. Find the missing Brotherhood Patrol at Nellis AFB and retrieve... Right. Let's have a look where they are. Okay, one of them is... One of them's not too far, actually. It's off towards Black... Black Mountain. And the other one is very far. And off in the middle of nowhere. Well, one thing, if, if I'm going to head off over here for Veronica, maybe you just sort of go in this direction, swing by here. Where the hell have I left? I've left the van at Good Springs. Good God. Fine. Yeah, we do that, though. We'll, go, we'll head off in this direction and swing by this area. The things I do for you, Veronica. The things I do for you. Okay. So. You're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. That would be me. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Oh. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Um... I have no idea. Sure, you've got power armor and a very large weapon. As you may have Generally already heard, listen to such this people. entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Oh, I can see where this is going. Um, and I suppose you'd nominate yourself. I would. I'm the senior most paladin in the chapter. And have more combat experience than any two others here put together. I'd gladly support another candidate. But no one has the courage to step forward and make the attempt. So it falls to me. I would put this chapter back on the right path, if I could just assume leadership. And what is the right path? What about Veronica? She seems to come and go as she pleases. Veronica's a special case. She handles the procurement of supplies. If we didn't let her and those like her back in, we'd all starve. If the Elder could manage it, he'd shut them out as well, and all in the name of security. Which is why we need to replace him. Why are you, t yeah, why are you talking to me about this? Of course I have, many times, in fact. The Elder has an open-door policy and will listen to advice on any subject save this one. He refuses to see that our isolation is slowly weakening us. Aside from being our duty, going out on missions is what kept us strong. And because he fails to see that, he must be replaced. Uh, you know what? I just, this, is, this, this is just all politics and stuff. Go away. I half expected you to say that. In which case, I'll continue to pursue the matter on my own. Should you continue dealing with the Elder and find yourself beginning to see my point of view, I'll be around. You just seem like a slimy politician to me. Pardon? I hope you've been practicing your drills, Veronica. It's dangerous outside. What Whoa. is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. No, what? Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our elder's thinking. You're all bunk. Hello? Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. Some of them? I hate to tell you this, Veronica, but the vast majority of your family seem to be complete. Oh, that's the... Oh, okay, we've not been in here. Hello, outsider. Hello. Um, can I get... Okay, a room full of terminal. Hello. A room full of terminals. Scribe Ibsen. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. I honestly don't think so, to be brutally honest. I've been threatened. Someone's tried to rope me into some kind of coup attempt. Um... Apparently I've got to go running off looking for some of your dead paladins, or maybe alive paladins, 
and I've got to get some technology to cheer Veronica up or, well, convince Elder McNamara that things need to change and therefore cheer Veronica up. And so far, nobody has paid me. I'd say on the whole, I'm having a fairly bad day. How about you? Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. Okay, I'm already bored. Get to the point. Need any... Why is that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. <laughs> oh dear. A virus? Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. Yeah. It's scrambling all the terminals here There's at the moment. There's a lot of that going on. Luckily, around. we only use this section for storing historical data. Anything I can do to... <laughs> What am I going to do to help with a vi- Fine, yes. Anything I can do to help. Would you like me to I shoot suppose the computer? I it could to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. Okay. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. Um, science! <laughs> You could just delete all the files. That would get rid of the virus, right? Along with all of the crucial data contained within, that'd be like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. The virus would be gone, though. You just start again. Think of it as a fresh start, mate. Silver lining. What do I need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible. But the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Okay. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish. But we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. Yeah, when you find terminals they with do those that. messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps and we'll wipe the damn thing. <sighs> Fine. I'll give it a try. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. All right. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Okay, wait. Bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Not really, no. You're being watched, so don't get any ideas. Who, who are you talking to? Eddie? All right. So I've got to check these terminals. And i got to check three of them. i got to check... No, I've got to check... Find three of them. Was that any of them? The virus just jumped. Okay. Uh, access data store. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. No, that one's clean. What about yours? Can I check yours? Ha ha! Suckers, catch me if you can. Right. Isolate virus. One down. Um. Access data store. But oh, okay. Garbage means it's not got. It's not one of the terminals I'm looking for. Have you found the other two hosts yet? No, but I'm going to, you cheeky little... Alright. Two down! Ten seconds. Okay, 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 really? Fifty seconds has gone already? You're kidding me, you are kidding me. Move! Uh, access data stop. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, damn, it's jumped. Oh. I thought we might have had it that time. <sighs> Out of curiosity, what? why have you sent the other scribes in there? Why don't you just have all the scribes man one computer just, and then maybe get a few other people in? Everyone mans it and they all log in at the same time. Hello, outsider. Hello. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Yes. All right. I'll monitor when it jumps. Okay. Oh, no. I've got to wait for him to say. I've got to wait for him to say. Come on. Say. Okay, we're going to move faster. We've got to move faster. The virus just jumped. Right. Access this. Right. No, not this one now. Find which terminals it went. Access to... No, more garbage. Next one. 
that no garbage. I mean, I, I want to see a timer. Access data is normal garbage. Really? I've not found any of them this time. That was wrong. Really, I'm gonna get. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh no, wrong. I'm clicking. Ah. Oh. But on a car. Should have brought something to. Okay, follow me. Just when the standing around was getting exciting. I need some room to sprint around and run. Right, stay there. Should have brought something to read. Right. Okay, we got rid of the obstacles. Hello. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Yes! No! But Alright, I'll monitor what I it I want to get this little... When I give this data, <laughs> start checking terminals. Okay. Speak to me. Come on. The virus okay. just Garbage! Um, Next! Find which terminals... Garbage! Garbage. Have you found the other two hosts yet? No. Sprint, 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 sprint. Oh, failing with the sprint. Failing with the sprint. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Oh, it's so hard to steer and sprint. Oh, leave the gun out. Leave the gun out. Leave the gun out. Ten no, ten. Really, ten seconds already. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Oh, it's like it's catch me if you can. Two down! It's a little getting used to, doesn't it? Two down, come on, come on, come on. Don't say anything! Come on! Oh! Damn, it's. Oh! Second. Uh, I don't even want to turn. It was going to take too long to turn. Damn, it's. Oh! <laughs> no! Oh! Okay, come on, come on. You're kidding me. Oh, really? I've now checked about half of Ten them. Seconds. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I hate you so very, very much. The clock is ticking. Thank you very much for that, you little bar steward. Oh, okay, that's two. Oh, God, I hate this guy. Oh, I'm failing. This, oh, God, too far, too far, too far. Oh no! Clicking failure! Clicking! Fa oh! Sprinting failure! Jumped. Oh! I thought we might have had it. Did you want to Shut try up. isolating the? Yes. All right. Got it. The virus. Silence. <sighs> Access dates. Nope. Attempt. Find which terminals. It Access data store. Nope. Now what? Why am I third per- Oh! Really? That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Third person. Yes, definitely. Okay. This way. This way. This way. This way. Why have I got my gun out? Why have I got my gun out? The clock is- If you weren't dead already, I would find you. Ten seconds. Oh, uh, sure. With the ten seconds, just give me a nice, calm, calm countdown or something. You're stressing me. When it is that all? Isn't that all? That's it. We yes. The virus has been purged. Oh God. Can I just point out that was quite frankly the dumbest antivirus sweep I've ever seen ever. You actually did it. If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. Don't I get something? I'm no, only what? To give you access Wait, to why did I help you? Topics, but it's better than nothing, right? No, it's not. Well, now the data store is fixed. What do you think of Hardin trying to get McNamara to dismiss? Because he is. Yes, I'm going to cause some trouble. I can understand how the man might the be frustrated by the current situation. He's a take charge sort of fellow. Standing around's not his strong suit. I myself mm. often wish we could end this interminable stasis and begin moving forward again. All right. What kind of information is in the data store? Oh, all kinds of things. 
There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. Okay. How do I access topics in the data store? Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. All right. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis. Ramos? Since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Uh, okay, time for me to go. But that was it then. All I got was access to the data stores. I was kind of open for something. Access data store. Access, right, bunker information. Project goals. Hidden Valley. The goal of the Hidden Valley project is to create a self-sustaining shelter for high-ranking VIPs that can serve as a command structure in times of crisis. The bunker itself is located several hundred feet below the surface. Multiple layers of reinforced materials serve to prevent a breach in of the inhabitable areas by anything save for a direct hit by a bunker-busting weapon, utilizing a megatonnage considered outside the capability of America's closest competitors. In the event that our enemies become capable of such an attack, the bunker's dervish camouflaging system makes targeting the site impossible for automated systems forcing aggressors to rely on guesswork and sheer luck. The Dervish Camouflaging System. All right. The Hidden Valley Bunker relies on two main systems. The Candle Fusion Power System provides power to all bunker systems, built more for reliability and duration of service. The power output of the system has been exceeded by many current designs, but it can supply the bunker with power for an estimated 752 years. The Dervish Camouflage System provides visual and electronic interference to prevent airborne or long-range enemy weapons from targeting the bunker. The normal soil around the Hidden Valley has been supplemented with a combination of aluminium and various silicates, which are then dispersed using a widespread network of industrial fans to blanket the area in a cloud of what is essentially chaff. Combined with the electronic countermeasures of the nearby array at the Black Mountain, the bunker at Hidden Valley is a effectively impossible to target. Ah, the sandstorm. Oh, so those those fan things are not ventilation shafts. They're actually um, basically fans that pull up the dust, which contains a lot of metal particles, and send it around. That's kind of Just reasonably was clever. Exciting. Okay, not useful though. Completely not useful. I just fixed a virus for no good reason. Ooh. Okay. Self-destruct terminal. Let's not touch that. Self-destruct authorized. Let's not touch that either. Scribe Taggart. I've heard all about you. Yes, what is it? Um, and you are? Ah, the outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am Head Scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Are you too busy to deal with a slap round the head? You've got a forehead that makes me want to slap it. Fine. What else? Okay. Now he's given us permission to access some of their equipment. This looks like there's equipment. You're Hello? being watched, so don't get any ideas. I'm not getting any ideas. Just... Ooh, well, okay, jammed minigun. Don't steal it. That's probably... Okay, shiny thing. I want one for my house. Oh, I can't pick it up. I want one. Oh, oh, look. It does a little... Eddie, look. I want one. Schematics. Cryo rounds. Rounds that freeze people. I need that. Chances of stealing this without getting spotted. Basically zero. Fine. I don't want any of that. Hello. Senior Knight Lorenzo. Okay. Hmm? Oh, you must be the outsider everyone's buzzing about. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lorenzo, senior knight and general handyman around here. Okay. Is that that was brilliant. Excellent. Bye. Bye. Fine. Well, this was useless. How may I assist you? Okay. So, 
Um, I guess we. Takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Guess we. Oh no, we we've got pl plenty of places to search upstairs. We haven't done anywhere, and we do need to find the equi toilets. Uh, excuse me. Hello. Second unit up to provide covering fire. Oh, it's Light a classroom. Side. Okay, dude, you don't have any students. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? No. Download complete. Well, okay, man. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Will I? Do continue. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Ooh. We just had word that the town of Prim is now that. part of the NCR. At this rate, they'll be running the whole region soon. Okay. Then you bring your second unit up to provide covering fire. Who are you talking to? There's no students. Stop teaching. Unless you've got like stealth technology. Are there invisible students here? Let's get out of here. Okay, so we've had another one of those funky messages from Eddie. Eddie! We don't actually have any new options for you. Okay. Fine. Uh, Now, did we have a quest for Eddie? Eddie, my love, Eddie appears to have some enclave log data stored that is triggered by some keywords. Okay, so that teacher must have been triggering you. Okay. Interesting. Right. Um, equipment, equipment. Okay, no. What time is it? You know what? Do you think they'd let us spend the night here before we wander off trying to find this thing for Veronica? Can we sleep here? We can! We can sleep here! Nice. Alright. Okay, we're... Okay, are you... You look The word came like down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. Excellent. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. I get, that definitely sounded suggestive, doesn't it? I've got all my stuff on the guys. I've got to take some stuff off. I... Right. Okay, what can I help you with? If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. All right. Um, I could look around for the pistol, I guess. You happen to find it. Bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Nice. You're the first person who's mentioned payment so far. Very nice. I mean, it's not that I don't want to help your family. Obviously, you know, they're your family. I want to help them. But it's nice that someone offers payment. Also, give me all that stuff I gave you. I want to sell it. All right. I will take these empty cases off your hand. They're just cluttering you up, you know... Cryo revolver. Cryo revolver. All right. Okay. So the cryo rounds are only for the cryo revolver. I'm guessing. Brush gun, forged receiver. Brush gun. That's a medicine stick, isn't it? Right. There we go. Marksman carbine, improved. Right. Is my is my all American um, marksman carbine? Might be. Eh. Zap glove. No, alright, I don't want any of this, but... Okay, now this stuff is rare. As far as I've seen. So I'm just going to keep buying it from anyone I see it on. And flame of fuel I need. Do I want to buy it though? I usually can find enough. I'm not going to use it for a weapon. I just want it for the van. Alright, we'll take that from you. Pleasure doing business. I don't suppose you've got any hints as to where I Later. can find that laser pistol, right? Because you're not going to let me give you a random one. No, apparently. Alright, then I think we get a good night's sleep and get out of this place. Don't get me wrong, Veronica. You know, you're a great companion and everything, but 
Your family are annoying as hell. Yippee, yeah. 